Yo, what's up, guys? This is Aprix here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be checking out the official Citra Androids brand new experimental Vulcan test builds. These Vulcan builds will probably be a great game changer in terms of 3D simulation on Mali GPU in future. You can just go ahead and go to the Citra Emulator GitHub page. As you know, Citra Emulator is completely open source. Just go to Citra afterwards. Go to Actions tab and here as you can see Experimental Vulcan backend of Citra Emulator. And I'd like to emphasize on the word Experimental. This is not stable, it might crash on your Android devices depending on the circumstances. But if you just go ahead and scroll down to Artifacts, you can get the Android Artifact. I already loaded the Vulcan Experimental build of Citra Emulator onto my Android device. Its size is greater than that of normal version of official Citra Android. So let's just go ahead and open it. Let's click on Don't Allow. Afterwards click on OK and click on Allow. Now we'll just go to Settings and let me go to Graphics. Here's the new setting which you can see right here Graphics API selected to Vulkan. And enable this option right here. Afterwards Asynchronous Shader Compilation. You can enable this as well to reduce stuttering. Afterwards Linear Filtering is disabled. Accurate Shader Multiplication is also disabled. Disk Shader Catch is also enabled. Uh, enough of the Graphics Settings. Let's go to General. Enable speed limit option has been disabled and after few days I'll be doing an in-depth comparison between Citra Vulcan edition and normal version of official Citra Android along with Citra MMG versus Citra Vulcan edition. So let's just go ahead and open it. Let's click on don't allow afterwards click on ok and uh, at the top left corner you won't be able to see the FPS bar so let me just go ahead and go back. Click on show FPS. Click back again. Let's select a uh, single screen. Uh, at the top you will be able to see that we are getting 60 fps and let's wait until the game actually starts now it's back up to 30 fps as usual now i'd like to press back and uh, go to settings i'll try increasing the internal resolution to 4x let's click on ok and let's go back let's go back again and as you can see whenever you change the setting during mid game uh, the Citra Vulcan edition crashes so I'll need to reopen it as I told you guys before uh, the Citra Vulcan edition is experimental that's why we are getting these errors let's enable speed limit just like before let's start the game again let's click on don't allow what I want you guys to do is just go ahead and uh, try this Citra Vulcan edition test build on your Android devices as well if you have an old device with Mali GPU I definitely recommend you guys to try out this build and let me know in the comment section down below how well does the game actually work because on my device snapdragon 8 gen 1 it's of course going to give 30 fps stable but as you saw uh, that there are few stuttering and also crashing uh, issues present in this experimental build but that is to be expected because it's not stable yet uh, be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification because i'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest emulation news and also 3ds emulator updates so see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.